from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips says Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here's a look at what's making headlines this hour. We start with the number of COVID-19 cases here in Florida. The State Department of Health reporting more than 3,100 new coronavirus cases and 145 new deaths since yesterday. Florida has now seen more than 668,000 infections and more than 12,700 deaths since the pandemic began. And the other key number we're matching and watching the positivity rate among new cases in Florida. Yesterday it went up slightly, but it was still under 5%. Most Bay Area counties were also below 5% yesterday. Health officials wanted to stay at that 5% benchmark as we continue the reopening process. Some local first responders heading to Tallahassee with Sally taking aim at the panhandle. Task Force 3 includes crews from Hillsborough County, Tampa, and St. Pete Fire Rescue. Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Rescue says several dozen first responders, 20 vehicles and seven boats are heading north. State and federal emergency managers will later send them where they're most needed. They'll help rescue victims from expected flooding. In other news, the city of Tampa is preparing for some Gasparilla events and making some changes because of the pandemic. Reserve tickets are now on sale for the 2021 Children's Gasparilla Pirate Fest, the Invasion Brunch and the Parade of Pirates. The city says there will be social distancing and you can find out more about the event on our website. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, Wendy, how you doing, everybody? Skies are mostly cloudy. We've got some showers offshore. Some are moving onshore, but the heaviest weather from Hurricane Sally will stay just offshore overnight. Mostly cloudy. Can't rule out an isolated shower or two. But I do think over the next couple of days, we'll start to see a little more sunshine back in the forecast. There's the latest on Sally. Winds of 80 miles an hour. Boy, it is just creeping northward at two miles an hour. And even though the track takes it very close to Mobile Bay, which is where we've been saying for the last couple of days, I'll tell you what, areas around Pensacola and even east of Pensacola, they are getting hammered. So while there are actually no state of emergencies in effect for Florida, I think there could be for the western tip as they are seeing every bit as much rain as areas are closer to Mobile, at least for the time being. Tonight, partly cloudy, isolated storms by tomorrow morning, partly sunny with temperatures near 80.